Hey guys, Dr. Sam here, helping you get closer to great skin days. Now today I just thought I would do a vlog, I guess, of products I've been using, loving, and maybe nearing the end of, so it's kind of an empties video as well. Um, just, I guess summer always makes you have a little look at what you're using, whether it's for skin, makeup, for hair, um, and it's a nice time to try out different things. And I think if you're like me, then humidity does tend to you know, provoke frizz, maybe a few more breakouts than usual, maybe more redness. So it does generally require a bit of a change up. Um, and then there are just some things that are nicer to use whenever weather's warm. So let's get started, shall we? So um, empty and fairly new product to me is the Heliocare 360 Invisible Spray. Now I used this when I escaped for a spa weekend to Portugal um, about a month ago and was really impressed with it. I think it's rare that you get a spray that is invisible, that is also water resistant. Um, and the Heliocare 360 range contains fern block, which is designed to also boost protection against visible light and even potentially infrared. Um, and it's just a lovely product. They make great sunscreens. Um, as with any spray, the key thing is to apply enough. And I literally, I probably use about a quarter of a can per application, if I'm honest. Um, you And I just avoid using my hands to touch it. I kind of spray everything a bit like you would do with self-tan where you could visibly see it on your skin, allow it to dry without interfering so it forms a proper film and you don't miss bits. And I always get naked and do my body sunscreen before I go outside into sunshine to make sure I don't miss bits by working around bikinis um, and trying to avoid, you know, getting uh, sunscreen on, on straps and things. Um, so using loads, the spray is a good one, meaning you can actually use it to get on awkward bits, although where possible, always get somebody else to do your back for you. So really liking this. Um, another application I thought of is if you were on the go and wanted to make sure that your hands were protected because, you know, backs of hands are really key areas that we sometimes miss when it comes to aging prevention. They can kind of give the game away. If your hands are covered in brown spots and this is pristine. Um, and it's a great way of just attacking your hands and keeping those protected. And again, water resistant protection for hands. It's not going to be sticky. Um, a great tool for that part of you as well. So liking this. Next up, we have some hair care and I'm loving this new range Virtue. Virtue? Um, maybe that's me being influenced by Shona. I don't know. But anyway, Virtue. Um, a lovely range and these ones are specifically to create fullness so they clean, thicken and volumize and as you can see I'm pretty much through both and interestingly through both almost at the same rate this may be the first shampoo conditioner combo where actually you get through them both at about the same time which I think is quite good um, you know they're free of all the things people want things to be free of these days but ultimately Luxie um, you know, they give skin, that, uh, hair, that lovely shine, um, thickness and fullness, and I've definitely found them help me manage my naturally frizzy Irish hair better. So I will be replenishing those 100%. I'm through a flawless cleanser. This must be about my seventh now, so I'll let you know I am using my own stuff. Um, and then this, I love this um, as a moisturizing treatment for hands. And I use the word treatment because it contains lots of niacinamide, um, so it really does help boost your barrier. Now, um, I saw quite a few patients in clinic this week whose work means that their hands are always in and out of water. That also applies to you busy mums too, but niacinamide in a really nicely formulated um, hand cream which absorbs rapidly but is really, really hydrating. Um, but not sticky, um, and that niacinamide just means that you're actually repairing your barrier, you're not just temporarily hydrating. Um, must be combined with gentle hand washing, of course, if you really want to improve the quality of the skin on your hands over time. And I do think that's an important part of anti-aging your hands is to keep them well hydrated. Niacinamide is also going to improve skin tone, so potentially improve the appearance of brown spots if you happen to have them. So a lovely product, I will be buying again. Now, on to makeup. So, cosmetics in summer for me, I wouldn't say that what I do with my makeup changes that much. I'm still very unlikely to wear a red lip. I'm still quite likely to wear um, a black V-line flick eyeliner and plenty of mascara with a good brow. Um, but some products I've been trying out recently that I really like, um, a couple of new concealers. So, whilst Power Fabric Foundation is too much coverage for me, I'm very much liking Power Fabric Concealer which I think is great where you want to build up 
thin but um, you know, reasonably good coverage concealer without the skin looking loaded. You know how sometimes concealers can just be a bit too dry or they can get patchy over time or particularly under the eyes they can sort of become a bit piecey and almost disintegrate as the day goes on and probably as your skin dries out a little, um, whether it's through central heating or air conditioning at this time of year. But I really like how this layers up nicely in thin, thin layers but with good coverage. Um, and I am either 4 or 4.5. It's a funny old range in terms of the shades, but that's where I sit with that. So I like that one very much. Then I've also been liking the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. Um, and I've been using the Fair Cool or Fair Medium. Now, Cher Webb introduced me to this product um, at an event I did with the lovely Nicola Bond for um, Outspoken Beauty Podcast. And it's got great coverage, it's got great slip. So even though it, as a stick, you'd often think it would be too dry for the under eye area, that slip just means, again, it's great for coverage for dark circles, which really is a pet peeve of mine at the moment. I don't know who else out there is with me on this, but finding the right color concealer with the right coverage and the right tone, it's not as easy as you think. Anyway, loving that very much too. And what else do we have in here? We have a Stila Convertible Color, yet another one, which has um, emptied, and this is in my favorite shade, which is Camellia, as you can see, gone. Um, and it's just a great peachy brownie, um, suits most skin tones type um, color without adding too much pink, and I'm actually quite pink in my mid face anyway. Um, the Joy of Irish Jeans. So a lovely natural finished product that I really like. But as an alternative to that, I've also been using um, NARS Dolce Vita, which is actually a powder. But some days I just want the speed and ease of a powder product. And it's just such a pretty peachy pink. Again, probably not the similar in tone to Camellia. Um, I find it much more flattering than Orgasm, which I know everyone raves about. But for me, it's just too much to all singing, all dancing, disco shiny so um much prefer that and then i've also been loving nars belize lip gloss um i quite like to lighten up the texture on my lip a little bit in summer um maybe a little bit less of a lip line more of a effortless natural smudgy thing um and the color of this is just gorgeous so a lovely peachy pink um which again is probably quite similar in tone to the kind of shade i would normally wear but is just a little lighter in texture and can be sort of patted down to almost nothing then final love is this little number from benefit now i don't have a huge number of benefit products in my top sort of favorite makeup um, items but this one i think is gonna is gonna stay actually it's their roller liner and i really like a liquid liner that comes in a short format. Um, I could do one too, but this is just a great tip. It's um, it's bendy, but also stiff enough, and it just doesn't seem to dry out like so many of the others, which mean that you end up stabbing away trying to get definition and density of the line. Um, there's something just quite perfectly formed about this, and it doesn't budge. Um, so I'm loving that, and I've bought two of these now, um, and I think I will continue to do so. All right, a bit rambly today, but I hope you like that. Um, any products that you like that I've mentioned, please let me know. Um, and anything on the same line uh, you think I should try, also let me know down below. All right, bye for now.